Ano? Okay. Dear love so divine, whose love casts out fear, yet hope shines through, in the makers of vaccines, in the doctors and nurses, may we too show your love that conquers every fear, including our anxieties about this planet Earth, your world, which is wounded and fragile. May we show our land the love which exceeds all fear. In the strength of our Saviour, whose victory brings hope, and in the presence of the Spirit, who inspires and creates new life. Amen. 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 So we started laughing about the 20th of January with like pedigree, purebred, some embryo transfers and such like. Uh, so we were pretty wary of anything going wrong. We didn't want to lose anything. The weather was pretty cold. Even inside, I think one time we went in about 12 o'clock at night and we had a little lamb freezing to death on the floor, which we ended up in the sink at home and uh, we're trying to warm it up and uh, then a quick trip to the, to the vet but it was it was a very expensive lamp because eight weeks later i think it went for about four and a half thousand pounds so if we'd let it die wow. it would be wow. really really sad i mean it's gone and so we're doing our best to you're, keep you're, everything you're, living because you're, you're breeding you're specializing and yes. um you're working all manner of science yes. as well as tradition and experience. yeah we'll have a young lady who's very keen she, she's keen so I'm sort of supporting and we work together and trying to produce a few different things but then we go on to like the commercial sheep and uh, we've just kept the same pattern on really but yeah we get up about half past four and uh, look, look at inside sheep and at the moment we're helping a friend who hasn't been as well so uh, they, and they were started they started lambing on the 9th of May so we've had a, another quite a large batch wow. of sheep to uh, keep an eye on yeah. and um, we're doing sort of general jobs throughout the day and uh, we've finished probably about nine o'clock at night but we've got everything on cameras through the night so we're quite often in there at 11, 12 o'clock. So what do you mean you've got everything on cameras? The the sheep that are lambing from middle of January onwards. And uh, yeah so if something's lambing we need to pen them up because if you if you went to bed at 10 o'clock at night and you didn't go back in again till 6 and you'd say yeah. 200 sheep you'd have a real scrum yeah. so you've got to then each family get them out put them into the pens get some colostrum into them and if it is cold you obviously you know you don't want them to get staff so we do our very best to try and you know supply them with everything they need sometimes you have to go to a heat lamp or you know sometimes we just have to assist them in board oh we, we work hard we work every day of the week we didn't have a holiday last year, obviously, due to COVID, but we tend to maybe have four days in the year, but we do work, right, you know, we yeah. don't take weekends off or anything like that. Um, and your life is your farm, and you want it to be successful, 
and you tend if you you make anything you tend to pile it back into your farm to hopefully make it better and more viable for the future so you've got you've got beef we've got yeah beef cattle beef cattle uh, we've got various breeds of sheep lowland and, and hill sheep lowland and hill sheep you've got some dutch sheep yeah, yeah, yeah we've which some, I've never heard of before. with the badger face ones and we've got walls which are dutch uh, we've got the Scotties and uh, yeah there's some valets and um, what else we've got around we've well, obviously got the Texel crosses and yeah. mule crosses and swaledales and derbyshire group stones which are a rare breed right. so you've got you've all you mentioned about eight there yeah eight different breeds of of, of sheep yeah what about your breeds of of of, of beef uh, well, mainly British Blue or Limousin. Some are cross, some are pure. And um, yeah, with those breeds have changed. My father came here in 1952, where he started off with the native breeds. We have the Herefords and the Galloways. And we moved on to Charolais and hopefully trying to advance all the time. And we went into British Blue in about 1993, something like yeah. that. Yeah, that's so where we're at now. You do education visits as well. You yeah. had Bentham Primary School up and you've had refugee groups and you've got us as a church group today. Yes, I yeah, started doing educational visits about 13 years ago. Right. Uh, we've basically set off, we have absolutely no funding at all because it was so, sourced through Natural England. We set off bringing little uh, groups of primary school children around and sat on wool bags with like a sheet over them and a bowl of, a bowl of water for them to wash their hands. There were no facilities whatsoever. And after we've been running about seven years, Natural England contacted me and said, we actually have some funding if you want to try and apply. And we then got toilets and that first area of classroom, which was absolutely fabulous, really, to compare with how we set off running. But, I mean, the children loved it. It was just not just ideal, really. Yeah, yeah. So. Great. Well, very good. Credit to you. Absolute credit to you, yeah. Thank it you. is, isn't it? Yeah. It's very difficult to say, isn't it? I don't think any of us really no obviously i'm getting towards the end of my farming career aren't i you know it's about 30 years to go yet. oh i hope not <laughs> <laughs> um my views have changed very much from when i was like 16 and you know y your ideas change don't they uh, initially when you're younger you, you want to build 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 and then you get to a certain age where you want to work with what you've got and just maintain it and that farmers have had a unique way of getting over these things and pressing on. Resilience, isn't yeah, it? Resilience, so, yeah. Isn't it? There's sometimes, yeah, on a bad day, and you look and you don't always know which way to go, and you basically have to put your head down and keep going. Yeah. I mean, my uncle Ted lived here.
The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they display knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their voice goes out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. In the heavens he has pitched a tent for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. It rises at one end of the heavens and makes its circuit to the other. Nothing is hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are sure and altogether righteous. They are more precious than gold, than much pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the comb. By them is your servant born, in keeping them there is great reward. Who can discern their errors? Forgive my hidden faults. Keep your servant also from willful sins. May they not rule over me. Then will I be blameless, innocent of great transgression. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, my rock and redeemer. What we need to do is take a fence either side of the water stream and then with a little bit of space so we thought let's plant in them. Right. And it obviously it grows up through the summit quite long and you find all the birds will actually go within that area who like the grass and everything to shelter yeah. and then you see them coming out of the little ones out, out of the long protected area when they're feeling brave into spare ground, you know. So it does create a good habitat for them to breed. To breed and in. did you do that off your own initiative? Tent funded by Natural England, something right. like that. It won't cover the full costs. No. And it's a gradual process where sometimes you have to do the fencing. And then one way or another, um, either sometimes trees can be donated, which is absolutely yeah. fantastic. Like the Oxdale's Millennium uh, yeah. will often say, we can bring a group bring 200 trees to plant and we'll say, yes, we've got space for them. Right, you know, so, so that's what we do. YDMT, Yorkshire Dales Millennium Trust will come with 200 trees. Yeah, and some fun. helpers, and, and we'll all helpers. work as a team and we'll plant them. Great. Um, and what, do you, with, what, what are you planting? Uh, we're planting all the hardwoods through the native breed. Uh, the, there's oak, um, rowan, rowan uh, hazel, holly, uh, various birds, yeah, yeah, yeah or, hawthorn, hawthorn, yeah, all traditional. Yeah. traditional trees really yeah. so we've sort of sometimes we're planting them in clumps uh, not, we don't want to be too regimental and have them in straight lines mm. we just want it you know so it looks more natural really and then you have to keep um do the upkeep of them yeah so yeah. it's great when i can get a, a group to come along and say let's let's straighten these trees up uh remove the weeds around rebind them etc and so there's quite a bit of maintenance after the actual tree planting so so in 30 years time it'll look quite different won't it? It will, we'll be, hopefully it will. We've removed all the tubes won't we? Yeah. And they'll be breathing and growing well won't they these? Yeah. Yeah. So, so we can hear in the background, probably here in the background we've got plovers. Yes, and curlew, curlew, oyster catchers and um, lots of other little things scampering around everywhere. Now on the fell, um, so we're just going on the, on the fell which is on the moorland which is quite different. It's Isn't quite it? diverse to what we've got here. Yeah, we're, going, we're just going to go through the gate onto common land and there are three active sheep graziers on that area of common and we're going to walk along the track to the shooting lodge which uh, is there for the grouse. And that's owned shooter. by uh, a bigger estate? That's right, yeah. Um, who's, who owns it? Um, are these a couple of solicitors down yes, from London? Yes, that's absolutely, yeah. So a couple yeah, of very... solicitors from, from London and lo own lots of estates around the country. Yes. So it's in private hands. B&H Sporting, I think. B&H, and, they, uh, and yeah. they, they have shooters up? They, yeah, they, they, they have guest shooters, I guest think. Guest shooters, yeah. yeah. And yes, they seem very, very nice to work with. We, we try and obviously appreciate each other's uh, business and, and work together. Right. So it's a, it's a balance of lots of different interests. Oh, absolutely. Groups. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The opening song with golden ring, the silver moon with softer gleam. Oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. 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 
return to the West, you are a blessing to the spirit of peace. Make us bold, make us holy, help us to love you and one another with our whole heart, our whole mind, our whole being. We pray in power of the Holy Spirit. We turn to the North for a blessing to the spirit of integrity. Give us your strength and the courage to endure all the problems we may face. We pray, empower us, Holy Spirit. We turn to the East for a blessing to the spirit of illumination, open our eyes to the sacredness of every living thing. We pray, empower us, Holy Spirit. We turn to the South for a blessing to the spirit of transformation.
what have we got here? Uh, with some quite young newborn uh, beef. beef <laughs> Disturb them now because I think we're giving them some nuts. That's what they're sort of walking up. They were having a sleep. <laughs>